All right, a book with a mass of two kilograms is held in equilibrium. That's big, it's a huge word, in equilibrium on a board with a slope of 60 degrees by a horizontal force. What is the normal force exerted on the book? In other words, what's the total normal force? What's the normal force? It's sitting on the board and it has a weight, correct? Part of that weight is the normal force, correct? Yes? That normal force is the weight times the cosine of the angle, right? And then it has a normal force in addition to the horizontal force exerted on the book to keep it in equilibrium. So there are two normal forces. The question is, what's the total normal force? So here's my, here's my drawing. Here's the book. The mass is two kilograms. Therefore, FW equals 20 newtons, correct? 60 degrees, so it's 60 degrees. Are you with me? Yes or no? Yes. All right, so you need to help me out here. You need to help me, all right? So what is FN going to be? In other words, what is, what is 20 cosine 60? was 20 cosine 60. What do you got, Abdul? It is, is that right? Why is it in? Are you in, are you in um, yeah, you gotta go into degrees, dude. So it's gonna be, you can't do it in your head? Should be 10, right? 10, Right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, what is uh, 20 sine, what is 20 sine 60? Um, 17.3. What is it? 17.3. 17.3. Okay, good. Now, huge, correct? Huge. Now. Now, drawing this, do we have a blue one around? Oh, here's one. This is huge. So in other words, can I erase this here? Right? We know that FW is 20 newtons. Okay? You okay with that? All right, so I have a horizontal force. This is horizontal, right? And it's like this. Right? So it's right there, and it's keeping that in equilibrium. Now, what does that mean? That means that the downward FP and the artificially created upward FP, this is creating an FP upward. This FP here is plus 17.3. Newtons, correct? Yes. Yes? This um, this is hard to draw. So this is that level with that? Alright? Now this is gonna be the, the the FP that I'm exerting through this force. We'll call it FA applied force, this is going to be parallel with this, right? Correct? Yes? Yeah. You know that this is parallel to this, right? What is the, what's the normal force perpendicular to? The ground or the ramp? The ground or the ramp? What's the normal force perpendicular to? The ground or the ramp? Huge. It's the ramp. It's the ramp. So there's a 
this is the ramp here, right? So this is going to go like this. So you see how that's a right angle? This angle here is 60 degrees. How do I know that? Well, you know it by, if I took this like this, right, and I twisted it around and put this here and this here, that's this angle. You get it? That's that angle. So, let's go over here and say, okay, I have this, right? That's FA, and I have this angle here, which is 60 degrees. It is down like this, intersects with this. Sorry, that's not right, sorry, sorry, sorry. It intersects with this like this, right? Creates a right angle. This is my FN, and this is my FP. Correct? Yes. yes or no? Yes. I don't know what that is. I simply know that it's significant enough where this is going to be equal to that value. So this is going to be 17.3 newtons. Correct? Yes. Yes? Yes. So what is this going to be? What's Fn going to be? Fn is going to be what? It's opposite, right? Let's draw it out. So it'll be this. It'll be tangent 60 equals opposite Fn over Fp, right? And I know Fp is going to be 17.3. So what is Fn equals tangent 60 times 17.3 newtons? What do you get? What is 17.3 tangent 60? What is it? 29? What is it? 29, okay. Uh, do we do rounding or something? Yeah, we had a little round up there. But we'll say 30, right? Fn is 30. Right? Correct? Yes or no? Right? So what is 30 here plus 10 here? So this is going to be Fn, and that's from the applied, plus Fn from the ramp. Right? So it's going to be what? 40. 40, right? So that will equal 40 newtons. You get it, ma'am? You get it? We're done. <laughs>